안녕하세요. That was Korean for hello or hi or any greeting really. Because today I'm going to be the unofficial, appointed by myself, um, representative of Korea. Yeah, nobody can stop me. I just decided this and I'm just going to do it. I have no whatever um, sign off from the Korean government. So whatever I say is um, maybe not 100% valid, but I'm just going to say it. So, Korean, Korea, um, basically what, what brought me to this topic and appoint myself uh, as the uh, number one ambassador for Korea, South Korea that is, uh, was I was watching a trailer for the n new movie from the guy who brought the old boy and it's called Thirsty, uh, Korean title is Bakchi which is more um, bad, but um, we come back to that later but um, I saw that one I thought hey I know that Korean dramas are very popular uh, in some for, for some people in some areas uh, but movies are also great and Korea as well is a very interesting country and I sometimes have the feeling that Korea kind of fades in the spotlight for that Japan, Japan gets and it's props where props are due Japan is great but People don't know much about Korea, I think, and um, I was thinking about it and I thought, okay, the best way to describe it is Korea is the Italy of Asia. Korea is the Italy of Asia. Why? Because people are very, they are polite, it's the Asian thing, and, um, but also they are very, um, very passionate. They, are, um, they yell a lot, they cry a lot, they drink a lot, and they party a lot. I'm not saying that all Italians do the same thing, but that's what Koreans do. But they're very passionate uh, people, um, very funny as well. And the movies that they made is a very crowded country as well. So Seoul is very, um, it's, I think it's 20 million citizens in Seoul, the capital. Uh, you might have seen it during the World Cup in 2002. Some people yeah, said, oh yeah, that's the first time really got away out. South Korea is there and they actually play football and they made it so far and they actually beat Italy and Spain. Um, yeah, I know what you're gonna say, referees, blah, blah, but history only remembers the hard fact. Sorry about that. So anyways, I was talking about movies and um, I thought I'm gonna give you a short introduction into um, movies that you would like coming from Korea, although you're not from Korea. So. I picked a couple of movies which I personally really really enjoyed and I think it might be a good help for you to say hey you know what I'm interested maybe I want to see something from a different angle not because it's diff people from different countries but not your average Hollywood stuff but something different so the first movie I'm gonna uh, introduce is called JSI uh, JSA, sorry, JSA, and it's not um, standing for Job Seeker Allowance, it's standing for Joint Security Area. And as you might know, Korea is, um, I think, one of the last countries that is divided in half. So you have North Korea, uh, been in the media recently for all the uh, wrong reasons, and South Korea. And South Korea is the democratic part because I still got people asking me, are you from the north or from the south? It's hard to come from the north, really. It's really hard um, because they don't let you out. So, South Korea, um, North Korea, it's the DMZ. In between, you have the demilitarized zone and that's where the joint security area lies. And the story is about these guards who watch the border on the north side and the south side and there's not much going on, there's not really people always trying to go, come over, or there's not a war starting, so they're sitting there in their watch houses, watching each, uh, each other, or the border for that matter, and for some reason, um, or coincidence, they befriend each other, but it so happens that a murder is committed, and the military, the military police is coming in to find out what happened, and it's, it's a great movie, and I show you the trailer, and you might not understand a lot, because it's a... Uh, in Korean, but I'm not gonna try to put subtitles underneath it because I think um, 
that's especially you, you should get a feel from the movie just through the trailer because that's what movies are about. So um, have a look.